Hello MMA fans, this is MMA Daily with your daily news and updates. Before we kick off today's news, make sure to tap that like button and hit subscribe. Now let's dive into the latest MMA updates. Former UFC middleweight champion Sean Strickland is no stranger to riling people up, and one of his latest actions caught the eye of Jake Paul. Strickland recently sparred with Sneeko, which in reality was just a one-sided beatdown that left the streamer bruised and bloodied. Paul took exception to the footage that was posted online, prompting the YouTuber turned boxer to issue a challenge of his own. Jake Paul called Strickland embarrassing and a horrid boxer for his actions against Sneeko. Paul challenged Strickland to travel to Puerto Rico for a fight, and if the former UFC champion wins, he will take home a $1 million prize. Sean Strickland, you're embarrassing for trying to stop Sneeko like that. You weren't even able to drop someone with no experience while going all out. You're a horrid boxer that only picks on inexperienced people. I'll fly you to Puerto Rico and we can fight on camera. If you win, I'll give you $1 million, half your net worth. But if you get dropped, you have to get better tattooed on you. DM me. But just like Patty, I'm guessing you'll find a way to run. It didn't take long for Strickland to offer his reply, in which he took a shot at Paul for losing to Tommy Fury. Strickland also accepted the challenge, but things took a dark turn from that point, as the former UFC champ said he would kill Paul if it were legal. You lost to a part-time boxer, don't forget that. Jake, I'm gonna pad my record with a part-time boxer. Part-time boxer off the couch wins. Real talk, jokes aside, Jake Paul is an utter f joke. You box small retired old MMA fighters and you sell sugar water to kids. If it were legal, I'd take your f life with a smile on my face. Is there any place on this earth I can take this man's life and walk? Jake Paul hit up Twitter again to share his thoughts on bullies, calling out Sean Strickland specifically. Here's what he said. I hate bullies. I was bullied and then was the bully sometimes in my YouTuber days, but now all my energy is focused on boxing bullies and helping the youth. But when I see someone like Strickland constantly bullying people, it's time to bully back. Following that, Strickland came out with a counteroffer for Paul. Here is what he wrote. Actually, Jake, I'll make you a better deal because money can't buy happiness and you have plenty of it and you're still a cunt. No cameras, me and you in a desert. That would buy my happiness. No Instagram, no likes, no games, just you, that's what I want. Afterwards, Jake responded to Strickland's threat by calling him insecure because of his threats. Constantly talking about killing people, calling them scumbags, or wishing them to die because they don't agree with your opinion reeks of insecurity, not of being a confident man. Be better, buddy. Following Jake's tweet, Strickland decided to put an end to this conversation. Here's what he wrote as his final message to Jake. I wanna conclude this. I want you all to understand the phenomenon that is Jake. You're a professional troll. You fight retired small MMA fighters because you're a troll, but the worst part of it all is that you're a cancer. You inspire people to accomplish nothing, to be nothing. You inspire people to be trolls because you were successful at it. Jake Paul, you might be rich, but you're not, man. You byproduct of society that has fallen. Your trolls will rally around you and be inspired to be like you. But understand one thing, you and your troll army are not my equals. Enjoy your virtual world with the understanding that you're a cancer on this country. Money will never buy you dignity. Enjoy. What are your thoughts on the sparring session between Strickland and Sneeko? And how do you perceive the Twitter exchange between Jake and Strickland? Who do you think would emerge victorious in a boxing match between these two? How do you think their skills compare? And who has the edge in terms of technique and physicality? Share your opinions and analyses in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to MMA Daily. We hope you enjoyed today's coverage of the world of mixed martial arts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for our latest videos. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to hear about in our upcoming videos. See you tomorrow with more MMA news. Until then, stay safe and keep following MMA Daily for your daily dose of fighting excitement.